So I thought I would tell you guys why I'm voting for Trump a third time. Third time. 2016, 2020, and now 2024. Basically what it comes down to, foreign policy. His foreign fucking policy, man. That was all past two times I voted for him was his foreign policy. And don't get me wrong. There is a couple things I don't like about Trump. For one, his support for Israel. I don't give a shit about Israel. I don't. I think that we should just take care of our own country and our own problems and leave the rest of the world, uh, you know, fend for themselves. Kind of an isolationist, basically. But uh, I digress. Uh, back in 2016, it was super controversial to be a Mexican-American Trump supporter. And shit, I even had a bumper sticker back then. Because everyone was all about feelings, as usual. All about fucking feelings back in 2016. Oh my god, he said this mean thing, and he said that mean thing. He said this mean tweet, and I was like, fuck all that nice bullshit, and fuck what he said. Alright, look at his policies. But apparently people don't give a shit about that. They give a shit about fucking feelings and shit. But and not only his foreign policy, but, you know, I have a military background. So, obviously, uh, I'm very for the military, since it was my former job. Um, but it, yeah, how he was going to treat China, how he was going to stop illegal immigration, you know, how he was going to deal with North Korea, you know, how he was going to lower taxes for the middle class. All these things in 2016 was why I voted for him. And I guess I'm kind of making this video about how controversial it was back in 2016 to now. But just to finish that off, yeah. Um, but no one saw it like that back then. It was just like... He's mean, racist. That's what it was. That's why. That's how everyone saw it. And shit, I'm glad that I took part in putting him in office back in 2016, because um, everyone thought that he wasn't gonna win. I remember getting wasted that night, and I actually didn't know what was gonna happen because my grandfather had just passed away, and uh, I was already in an emotional state. So I didn't even expect him to win, but he did. And I was like, fuck, wow. Because I went to a Trump rally too here in Austin back in 2016. But anyways, uh, getting back to the main point. Yeah, I'm voting for him a third time. Don't even get me started with the 2020 election. I obviously know that fucking shit is fucking bullshit with those mail-in ballots and shit like that. But once again, I digress. His foreign fucking policy, people. That's it. You want the fucking jobs to stop leaving to shithole China and, you know, all these other countries? Vote for Trump then, because, you know, it, our lives matter, all right? I know apparently Americans are supposed to put their lives on the back burner for foreigners and shit like that. I'm like, fuck all that, man. Fuck all that. We need to take care of our own people and our own fucking infrastructure and our own problems. we got to stop being the world's fucking police. That's a big thing. That's why we had all those fucking wars, all those foreign wars. Trump got us in no wars. That's another thing. Really, the final point. Trump got us in no fucking wars. How many did Bush get us into? Obama? Fucking Biden? Fucking uh, Clinton? Seriously. <laughs> Trump was the first president in decades to not get us involved in fucking wars. And as a military veteran, I'm like, fuck yeah, because I don't want to see my you know, fellow brothers and sisters going to fight a fucking war that has nothing to do with us, like we did especially in fucking Iraq. Anyways, um, just to shorten this video, because I don't want it to drag on too long. It's already been four minutes. But, um, made my own cocktail tonight. Saturday. <laughs> but, um, point being, if you don't want us to get involved in more fucking foreign wars, vote for Trump. All right, I know he does. He's not all of your guys' cup of tea with how he talks and how he presents himself. Definitely, he is my cup of tea with that because I just think he's a fucking savage. But I know a lot of people just don't like that. And hell, even Elon Musk wasn't even on the Trump train back in back in the day. I remember he just wanted him to go away from what I remember uh, Elon saying <laughs> about Trump uh, back in the day. I think this was before he bought Twitter. But anyways, um, I know he's not your cup of tea, but. If you don't want fucking foreign wars and, you know, <laughs> taxes getting raised and more illegals coming, pouring over the fucking border and rent going up, insurance going up, all that shit, because that is because of illegals, vote for Trump. Vote for Trump. Believe me, 
I don't like his support of Israel, like I said, I don't. That's the one of the biggest things of all uh, that I don't like about Trump is his support for Israel. But aside from that, uh, probably the other thing when he passed that fucking bullshit bump stock ban when he was president, which is complete bullshit. I actually don't think there should be any fucking infringements on the Second Amendment whatsoever. If the government can have it, we should have it too. Because guess what? The government's going to just turn it and use it against you. That's why it's there in the Constitution, ladies and gentlemen. It's to prevent fucking tyranny in the government. <laughs> just go look at what ha what's happening in my native country, Mexico, south of the border. With the cartels and shit. But anyways, that be they don't have a Second Amendment there. Fucking look at what happened in fucking China under Mao Zedong. <laughs> You know, when he fucking murdered millions of fucking people back in the 50s, 60s, you no, know, that era. Those people didn't have fucking guns to protect themselves. That's why I don't believe in on any restrictions whatsoever in the Second Amendment. Anyways, going off on a tangent. Brothers out and vote for Trump. Don't get us involved in fucking wars like that stupid bitch Kamala. You know she's gonna fucking get us involved in a fucking war, probably with Iraq or no, no Iran. There we go.